Imagine this. You've heard about the keto diet everywhere, from the celebrities to fitness influencers, and you're wondering, is keto a healthy way to diet? A simple question, but with a myriad of conflicting answers. Yes, it's the keto craze conundrum. Today, we're going to slice through the hype and delve into the science behind the ketogenic diet. We'll explore the potential benefits and limitations of this popular diet, aiming to provide a balanced perspective for those seeking sustainable weight loss. The ketogenic diet, or keto as it's commonly known, has taken the dieting world by storm. It's been hailed as a game changer, a quick fix, and even a magic bullet for weight loss. But what's the truth behind these claims? Is it a miracle diet, or is it just another fad? To answer these questions, it's crucial to understand the science behind keto. How does it work? What impact does it have on our bodies? And most importantly, can it be a healthy way to diet? So let's put on our detective hats, leave the buzzwords behind, and dive deeper into the world of keto. Let's see what it's all about. The core principle of keto involves the idea of using fat as fuel. Let's dive into what that means. When we say that keto uses fat for energy, we're referring to a metabolic state known as ketosis. This is a natural process where the body, in the absence of carbohydrates, starts burning fat for energy. It's a bit like switching your car from gasoline to electric power. Instead of relying on carbs for energy, your body goes for the fat stores. And that's one of the reasons why keto has been associated with weight loss. Now let's demystify the roles of macronutrients in keto. When you're on a keto diet, you're primarily consuming fats, with a moderate amount of protein and very few carbohydrates. Think of these nutrients as the team that helps your body achieve and maintain ketosis. Fats are the star player, making up about 70 to 75% of your total daily calories. Protein is the supporting player, accounting for about 20%. Carbohydrates, they're on the bench, making up only about 5 to 10% of your total daily calories. But what about carbs? They're the primary energy source for the body, right? Well, in a typical diet, yes, but in a ketogenic diet, their role is significantly reduced. The recommended daily intake of carbs in a keto diet is usually around 20 to 50 grams, depending on the individual. This might seem shockingly low, but remember, the goal is to push your body to use fat as its primary fuel source. Now, it's crucial to understand that keto is not the only diet out there. There are other popular diets like the Mediterranean or low-fat diets that have different macronutrient profiles. For instance, the Mediterranean diet emphasizes fruits, vegetables, fish, and whole grains with a moderate amount of healthy fats. The low-fat diet, as the name suggests, limits your intake of fat. Both diets have their own merits and can be suitable for weight loss, depending on individual preferences and health conditions. So, keto is quite unique in its approach, focusing on high fats, moderate proteins, and low carbohydrates. It's like a nutritional inversion of what many of us are used to. But it's not just about eating bacon and cheese all day, it's about choosing the right types of fats and balancing your macronutrients to help your body reach that fat-burning state of ketosis. The keto diet can be a powerful tool for weight loss, but like anything else, it's essential to do it right. It's not just about cutting carbs, it's about understanding the role of each nutrient and finding the balance that works best for you. So, keto is quite unique in its approach, but what does the evidence say about its health impact? We'll explore that in the next segment. Stay tuned. When it comes to keto, the weight loss wins are hard to ignore. Research has shown that many people have found success in shedding pounds when following this diet correctly. The key here is correctly. Keto is not about indulging in bacon and butter, but rather about balancing your macronutrient intake with precision. But the potential benefits of keto extend beyond the scale. Numerous studies suggest that by primarily burning fat for fuel, blood sugar levels can stabilize, which is particularly beneficial for those managing diabetes. Plus, the reduction in carbohydrates can also lead to a decrease in insulin levels, further supporting blood sugar control. And there's more. Keto may also hold the potential to reduce the risk of certain chronic diseases. As our understanding of nutrition evolves, researchers are exploring the potential impact of a ketogenic diet on conditions ranging from heart disease to certain types of cancer. Let's not forget about energy levels. Many followers of the diet report feeling more energized. This could be linked to the steady supply of ketones, small fuel molecules produced during ketosis, that your body can use for energy. However, it's essential to note that keto is not a one-size-fits-all solution. Like any diet, it has potential risks. For instance, because the diet is high in fat, 
It could lead to increased cholesterol levels for some individuals, particularly if the fats consumed are primarily saturated. Moreover, the keto diet's restriction on certain food groups like fruits, starchy vegetables and grains can potentially lead to nutrient deficiencies if not carefully planned. This is particularly concerning for nutrients like fiber which plays a crucial role in digestion and overall health. The diet can also put a strain on the kidneys due to the increased need to filter protein and ketones, and this could be a problem, especially for those with pre-existing kidney conditions. Additionally, keto may not be suitable for everyone. Women who are pregnant or nursing, for example, need a balanced diet that includes all food groups for their health and the health of their baby. Likewise, those with certain medical conditions or those aiming to build significant muscle mass may need to consider other dietary approaches. In conclusion, while keto can offer significant health benefits for some, it may pose risks for others. It's important to remember that each person's body responds differently to dietary changes and what works for one person may not work for another. However, as with any diet, making it safe and sustainable is the key. So how can we do that with keto? Making keto safe and sustainable starts with prioritizing whole foods. When we talk about a ketogenic diet, it's not just about cutting carbs, it's about nourishing your body with the right kind of foods. This means filling your plate with nutrient-rich, wholesome foods like low-carb vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Think leafy greens, avocados, nuts, seeds, and fish. These foods not only fuel your body but also provide essential vitamins and minerals for optimal health. But eating right is just one part of the equation. It's also crucial to keep your body well hydrated. Water is your best friend on a keto diet. It aids digestion, keeps your skin glowing, and helps maintain the balance of body fluids. Unsweetened beverages like green tea or black coffee can also be included to jazz up your hydration routine. Now, let's talk about individual needs. Just as no two people are the same, no two bodies respond to a diet in the same way. Listening to your body is key, pay attention to how you feel. Are you energized or lethargic? Are you sleeping well? How's your mood? All these can be indicators of whether the diet is working for you or not. And remember, it's not just about shedding pounds, it's about feeling healthy, vibrant, and at your best. Electrolyte balance is another aspect to keep an eye on. As your body adjusts to a low-carb diet, it's common to experience an electrolyte imbalance. Consuming foods rich in potassium, magnesium, and sodium can help alleviate symptoms like fatigue, headaches, and muscle cramps. But before you embark on this journey, it's paramount to seek expert guidance. Consult with a doctor or a registered dietitian before starting a ketogenic diet, especially if you have existing health conditions. They can provide personalized advice and monitor your progress, ensuring the diet is safe and beneficial for you. Remember, keto is not a one-size-fits-all. It's about embracing your unique health journey. So, is keto a healthy way to diet? It depends. We've unpacked the principles, potential benefits and risks of keto. We've stressed the importance of whole foods and personalizing your approach. Ultimately, the best diet is the one you can stick to, that also meets your unique health and lifestyle needs. So do your research and consult with a professional before jumping into keto or any other diet trend.